NHL 25 has just released and that means I am back again with another year of showing you guys how to do deeks in NHL 25. So let's just get right into it guys, there's a lot of deeks I'm going to be showing you here, a lot of simple ones, a lot more complicated ones, so let's get right into it and hopefully I'll be able to help you guys out. First things first, we're going to start with the backhand tuck. So to do the backhand tuck, what you're going to want to do is hold your stick out to your forehand and then hit both RB and LB to perform this deek. Next up, we started with the backhand. We're going to go with the forehand tuck. Same thing. You're just holding your stick out to your backhand here. And then again, once again, hitting both RB and LB to perform the deek. And, uh, you know, these are very good moves to use on a breakaway to score a potential goal. Next up, we got the backhand windmill. For the backhand windmill, what you're going to want to do to pull off this deke is hold LB and then go out with your right stick to perform the deke. This is a very good deke to get around uh, a player, to sidestep a player real quick. And then to follow that up, we have the forehand windmill. Same thing, hold LB and then hold out your left stick to do the forehand windmill. Now I'm telling you guys how to do this with a right-handed player. Obviously, if you're using a left-handed player, it would be inverted. I have both of the controllers though on the bottom of the screen to help you guys out. Next up, we got the bank pass. To complete a bank pass, you're gonna click both LB and RT at the same time when you're near the boards or just to get around a player as well. Uh, you can really uh, do both. I typically like to do them along the boards to try to get around a player if someone's trying to cut you off uh, towards the boards. To follow up that, we got the what I like to call the Crosby. It's the bank pass behind the net. If you're going behind the net and a player is following you or you see someone coming towards you, you can hit both LB and RT at the same time behind the net. You'll bank the puck off the back of the net and you're going to turn the other way for a good scoring opportunity. You could take it to the net yourself or pass it out in front. Next up, I'm showing you a more complicated deke. This one's called the behind the back. So to complete the behind the back, what you're going to want to do is hold out the puck to your forehand. You're going to hit uh, RB. Both sticks are going to go inwards and then both sticks are going to go outwards very quickly to perform this deke successfully. Um, it's hard to pull this off in game, but it's a very nice looking deke. Going back to the more simple deeks, we're going with the between the legs pass. So to complete the between the legs pass, what you're going to do is hold on LB and then down on your right stick and hit RT to pass the puck. This can be used in many scenarios to just fool your opponent. Next, we got the between the legs shot. Very similar to the pass, you're going to hold on LB and your right stick. And instead of hitting RT this time, you're going to flick up in your right stick to shoot the puck. Next up, we got the Datsuk flip. To complete the Datsuk flip, what you're gonna wanna do is click your right stick in and push down and then hit RB to flip the puck. What you're trying to do here essentially is uh, get the goaltender to move one way and then flicking it over shoulder the other way uh, can be successful at times. And to complement the Datsuk flip, we got the Datsuk shot. Very similar to the flip, you're gonna click your right stick in and push it down and then you're gonna flick up on the right stick like you would to shoot any regular puck. Now I will say the Datsuk shot is very powerful, but it is not that accurate at times so be cautious next up we got a, a fun little deke here this one's the jump deke what you're going to want to do to complete a jump deke is click rb and at the same time you're flicking up on your right stick you're going to jump and flick the puck up at the same time while you do that Next up, we got the Nikita Kucherov deke. I like to call it the Kucherov deke. Uh, what you're going to want to do, this is a loose puck deke. So what you're going to want to do here is uh, hit LB, and then you're going to go out with your left stick and out with your right stick at the same time to lose the puck. Now, the examples I'm showing you here aren't great. If you complete it 100% perfectly, there's a chance where the goaltender goes one way to save it, his five hole opens and the puck slides in. You've seen it IRL, I'm sure. It can happen in game two if you pull it off correctly. Next off, we got the Michigan. The Michigan is hard. Now there's two ways to do the Michigan. You can do it on total control, which is just hitting Y, or you can do it on skill zone, which is harder, but I've been able to pull it off, so maybe it's easier to do this year. So to do the Michigan, what you're gonna wanna do is hold the puck to your forehand. You're gonna then hold down LB, hold in the right stick and then rotate the right stick to the left and then to the right. So it takes a little time to learn the Michigan on skill stick. If you wanna just go the easy route, you can put total controls on and just hit the Y button. And then next we got the Zgris. It's the Michigan just with a pass. So what you're gonna to wanna to do there is hold the puck to your forehand, hold down LB, hold in the right stick and then rotate the stick to the left to the right and then hit RB to pass. Or again, if you wanna do it on total controls, all you gotta do is Y and then RT right away to get that pass animation. 
All right, back to the Easy Deeks again. We have the one touch backhand. To complete the one touch backhand, what you're gonna do is hit out B and at the same time out with the right stick. It's a very simple deke, a very good sidestep to get around an opponent in a tight space. And then to complement the one touch backhand, we have it on the forehand. Again, same thing, hit LB, but at the same time, you're going out with the left stick this time again. A very good way to sidestep an opponent quickly. And this move is very effective in game and very simple to do in game. Next up, we got the skate kick. Again, a very simple one. What you're going to want to do to complete the skate kick is hold down LB. And at the same time, you're going down on the right stick. And that's going to force up your stick to pass it back to your skate and kick it back up to your stick. Next up, we have the Kyle Turris Deke. I still call it uh, that to this day. Uh, he's the one who pulled it off in game. So to do the Turris Deke, what you're gonna wanna do is hold the puck to your forehand, hit and hold LB, and then go down with your right stick, and that will complete the Turris Deke. Uh, again, not very effective in game, but looks pretty in like a shootout maybe. Next, we have the through the legs deke. Again, this is very simple. You're gonna hold the puck to your forehand, then hit RB and rotate your stick to the left and you're gonna put the puck through your legs. Very simple deke, very good looking deke, very effective deke. Next up, we got the toe drag. To do the toe drag, you're gonna hold the puck to your forehand and then rotate your right stick to the left to pull off the toe drag like this. It's a very good looking move. And if you're standing still, there's a way to do it as well. And, and it kind of gives you a little speed boost to get you going. Next up, we got the toe drag shot. Again, very similar to the toe drag. You're gonna hold the puck to your forehand, rotate your stick to the left and then flick up to shoot the puck. With some players like Austin Matthews, he has shock and awe. So if you complete that, you get an, a little extra boost to the shot. It's a very powerful shot. Next deke we have, I guess we'll call it the sidestep. The sidestep flick up. I don't know. I'm going to call it the sidestep. So to pull off the sidestep here, all you're going to do is hold the puck to your forehand. You're going to hit LB and then out with your right stick to get that flip uh, to the right or left of your player. Uh, can be effective. I don't really use it that much, but it is a deke that is in the game if you guys wanted to know how to do it. And next off, we have one of the easiest deeks to pull off in this game. It is called the Spinorama. So to complete the Spinorama, what you're gonna do is hold the puck out to your backhand or your forehand, and then you're gonna hit LT to perform the Spinorama. A very simple deke to use, very effective deke to use to get around players at times. Um, so yeah, that's how you pull off a Spinorama, super simple. And last but not least, we have the Henrik Zetterberg. To do the Henrik Zetterberg, you're gonna hold the puck to your backhand, you're gonna hit and hold LB, go outwards with both sticks, and then inwards with both sticks. Again, honestly, one of the more complicated deeks, but the more you practice it, the easier it's gonna become, and it's gonna be one of the easiest deeks in the game. I could do this no problem. Back in the day, I had no idea how to do it, but practice makes perfect like most of these deeks will do. But yeah, guys, hopefully I was able to help you guys learn some new things with the new game coming out. Let me know if you're excited for NHL 25. Let me know what's the first thing you guys are gonna be doing in NHL 25, whether that is getting into HUD, getting into Eshul, getting into franchise mode, let me know in the comment section down below. And also let me know if I was able to help you. And if you guys have any other questions, don't be afraid to ask in the comment section down below. I will try to get to all the comments and try to help you guys out best as I can. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like on it and hit the subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 6,000 subscribers. If you guys are new around here, I will be posting a lot of HUT content, a lot of franchise mode, and hopefully some Eshul content as well. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!